Good morning, HS. It's good to be back. I'm Seth. And I'm Jennifer. It's 2017. Happy New Year. I hope you had a restful break. Soccer season is in full effect for the girls. They had their first scrimmage. The JV girls' first scrimmage got off to a great start. It was good for our teammates to get to know each other, and I think we did good since we won, and um, this was good so we can get used to the game and used to playing with each other. Both teams played hard and gave it their best, each competing for victory. I felt really good about it. There might have been a little bit of mistakes, but I feel like our teammates were really hard, and even though we lost, we still worked a little bit harder. They will play again today and Saturday in the Lufkin Showcase. Dragon basketball is also continuing. Both the boys and the girls played games in the competition game last week. Varsity boys, the score was 56 to 27. This Friday, Varsity played Lufkin. They played well. Although they lost, they still represented Nacogdoches Dragon very respectfully. How does it feel being a freshman on Varsity? Man, yeah, it's like the world, it's like your dream. Hey, we grow up watching these guys. One day, you're one of them, and just to take the great uh, thought and <laughs> ideas from great coach. Gary Hall, I thank this man for coming from Virginia out of retirement to come coach us. And all these men on the wall, the brothers, every game we fight hard. And I come out with the win, but at the end of the day, we're still brothers. And I just like thank that man, Gary Hall, no matter what happens. Zuko has tried to become heart healthy. Let's see how they did. This February, Student Council will be hosting a heart healthy race and will be collecting donations every Thursday from selling t shirts. Whichever department raises the most money from selling t-shirts will get three morning or lunch duties served by Ms. Dumbali and Ms. Woodbeck with a catered meal. We're really excited that uh, Nacogdoches High School is going to support the American Heart Association because this organization is an advocacy, education, and research, research organization that um, addresses the number one killer in the world, which is heart disease. Unfortunately, this holiday break, our favorite librarian secretary, Ms. Uden, suffered from a heart attack. To raise awareness, we wanted to share her story. It scared me to death. I was shocked. It, had I not gotten to the hospital when I did, I would have died. My husband and I have both started eating healthy heart healthy and walking because we have children and we have grandchildren that we have to live for and I encourage everybody to do the same so that it won't happen to you. That's all for today. I hope you're having a great start to 2017. See you next week. If the world doesn't end before then. <laughs> <laughs> Theater is selling candles. Please see a theater student to purchase. Seniors, if you have not turned in your 40 hours of community service to receive your Noble Scholar Medal, turn them in to Ms. Staniland, room 201 by Friday, January 20, 2017. February is Heart Healthy Month. Buy your red shirt from Student Council only for $10 in room 101. All profits will go to the American Heart Associations to help research heart disease. The next host of Blood Drive is January 26. Sign up in Ms. Smith's room, 312. You must be at least 16 years old. The scholarship notebook is available in room 201. Dual credit seniors, please bring Ms. Tice a copy of your spring SFA schedule to renew your reserved dual credit parking pass. Attention to all lovers of the sea. Texas A&M Galveston has a fabulous sea camps during the summer. There are 15 different camps for high school students. This week is NHS Peaceful Earth Week. Don't forget to keep helping our planet by recycling this week.